this exhibition is about everyone. We are welcoming everyone, not only architects, and we try to make the exhibition as accessible as, as possible, also as blatant as possible. So we try from each element to pour and to filter which are the more critical moments and the moments in which the element has gone through like a rapid process of evolution or a radical change. The whole of the research that we've done it's, is in the books, the books that uh, are present in each room. So there's a book on the balcony, a book on the ceiling, a book on the door, a book on the window, on the floors. In those books you can actually see the full research, but the exhibition narrows that research into the most blatant aspect of the history of that element. Part of the richness of the exhibition is that the approach for each element was completely different. So in some rooms we have collectors, other people that have become complete academians. For example, we have Friedrich Milke archive. He has been studying uh, stairs and he developed his own system of recording stairs. So one of the things that we, we try to do is also to bring a lot of people in the exhibition who, who also have this interest of looking kind of one element. I'm the only person doing it apparently in Europe. There's no record of the window in existence. No museum has gone out and rescued everyday windows. Stained glass and elaborate windows, but not the everyday windows. No record will exist. And I'm really specialising in the history of the window because they're disappearing in their millions throughout Europe. Even in Venice they're replacing them. But I've tried to encapsulate this in the exhibition, the importance of the subject before the window is swept into oblivion with double glazing UPVC and the blandness of aluminium. We commissioned David de Rapp, a filmmaker from Italy, to make a collection of clips of uh, existing movies that show the element in complete isolation. And in this film that lasts 30 minutes, you can really see that if you look at the element independently, the element becomes scary, becomes menacing. And, uh, and we realize that this happens to practically all elements. The film is fascinating, the human experience of the window, all the things that are taking place against a window. A fascinating film and a wonderful concept. I'd like a copy of it because it brings the whole thing to life in a different way. By not approaching every element in a similar way, we created many different moments, so in a way it really triggers your imagination. What we're showing here is actually these elements have kind of also the potential to, to be completely different, because within those parts there is a lot of room for creativity or changes or different approaches, so the exhibition will be quite inspiring. <laughs>